All that was just pentatonic using that one extra note. What's going on guys? My name is Roy Ziv and in today's lesson I'll be teaching you how to play the solo for my Nick Jonas Expectation vs Reality video. It's currently at over half a million views. All right, so we're in the key of B flat minor here. And we're gonna be using the fourth shape of our pentatonic scale. So if I start on the sixth fret, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. So the fourth shape is gonna start on the 13th fret. Now let's just go over the shape real quick. It's gonna be 13, 16, 13, 16, 13, 15, 13, 15, 14, 16, 13, and 16. Okay, let's just go over that one more time. All right, so lick number one. Lick number one goes like this. Okay, I'm gonna start by sliding on the G string with my second finger into the 15th fret. Now usually when I slide into a note, it's usually from a fret or two behind it. So in this case, I'm gonna start from the 13th fret and slide into the 15th. From there, I'm gonna hit the 14th and the 16th fret on the B string, and I'm gonna bend the string all the way up. Now when I bend, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and bend again, so there's gonna be two bends in there, all with just one pick. Okay, all together. After I bend that note up on the 16th fret, I'm gonna bring it down and pull off to my 14th fret on the B string. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so all that happens with just one pick. I pick the note, bring the bend down, pull off. All together from the beginning. Okay, from there I'm just gonna go back to the 15, go back to the 14, and then I'm gonna bend the note again on the 16th fret of the B. And then I'm gonna cut the note short by muting it with my right hand. It's gonna sound like this. Okay. From there, you're gonna hit a few notes. That's 14 on the B, 13 on the B, 15 on the G, and 13 on the D. I'm putting a slight vibrato on each of those notes. And where do these notes come from? So far, they're all from the pentatonic scale, except for this note right here, which is the ninth note in the scale. What I mean by that is ninth degree. If I were to count of the scale, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That's the ninth note for my minor scale in the key of B flat, and I use this all the time in all my pentatonic scales. So instead of just playing my pentatonic like this, I'll insert the nine over there, and then all the other octaves I have it. So I have it here, I have it here, I have it here, and if I'm using any of my other shapes, like the first shape for example, I have it there, and I have it there. And it just makes everything sound a little bit more fusion and gives it a nice cool sound. All that was just pentatonic using that one extra note. Okay, so you're gonna be singing in the solo that I'm gonna be using that one note a lot. And that's what I'm doing right here with these notes going down. Oops. Cool. Let's do the whole lick from the beginning. One, two, three, four. Now it's very important that after I do that second bend, to cut that note short. Don't bring the bend down, don't release that. Oops, not that one. That one right there. All right, lick number two, it goes like this. Okay, we're gonna start with a two note per string run all the way down the scale, alternate pick everything, and there's gonna be a few hammer on pull offs. So this first run right here, what am I doing there? I'm basically using all the notes from my pentatonic scale starting on the A string all the way down to the B 
except for the first note. That first note right there is the ninth degree, just like we talked about in the first lick. That's the ninth degree of the scale, my minor scale, in the key of B flat minor. So that's a C note. All the other notes that I'm hitting are just for my basic fourth shape pentatonic in the key of B flat minor. Starting that with down and strict alternate picking, which means down, up, down, up, down, up, the whole way through. Okay, if you did it properly, your last note should be ending on the down. Okay, from here, I'm gonna hit 13th fret on the B string. I'm gonna do a hammer on and pull off, okay, to the 14th fret and back. And I'm gonna hit the G string 15 and 13. So all together, it's gonna to sound like this. Okay, one more time. Cool. Now, that note right there that I'm hitting, that's C, again, that's just the octave of the first C that I started with, which is, again, the ninth degree in my pentatonic scale. Uh, let's just try the, uh, the first lick and the second lick. Let's put those together real quick. One, two, three, four. All right, lick number three goes like this. Okay, so what am I doing there? I'm gonna be using some double stops and we're gonna be kind of highlighting the chords here. A flat major and B flat minor. I'm gonna start by sliding into the 15th fret of the D. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bar my first finger on both the G string and the B string, 13th fret. I'm gonna hit both those notes. Oops. Make sure you only hit those two notes, not all three. And then I'm gonna hammer down my second finger onto the 14th fret of the B and my third finger onto the 15th fret of the G, both at the same time, and you're gonna get this sound. Okay? So we have... From there, I'm gonna do a hammer on on the D string. And I'm going to bar that again, hit these two notes one more time. But this time I'm going to hammer on only on the B string. And go back to the note. So all together. Cool. Now there's a few slides I might be doing in the actual video if you listen to it. Um, I'm just doing that to match Nick's fingerings in the video, which was the whole point of the video. I tried to match it exact. But those slides aren't too necessary to get the lick right. All right, link number four goes like this. One more time slower. And all I'm doing here is I'm hitting notes from the pentatonic scale and I'm adding that ninth degree in the key of B flat. So that's gonna be C right there on the B string. I'm gonna start by doing a hammer on pull off on the B string. Now, once I get to the G string, I'm gonna alternate pick all the way down to the E. As soon as I hit that 16th fret is when I'm going to pull off. So I start with a hammer on pull off, alternate pick everything else, 16, pull off, and I'm going to pick all the way down to the G. So all together. From here I'm going to go back to my B string and again I'm going to start that with a pull off, and then hop back to the G string. So all together, slow. Alternate pick, 16, pull off, pick, back to the B, pull off, and hit the G, okay? Now the hammer-ons and pull-offs here are essential to making this lick flow and getting the dynamics right and just making everything sound a lot tighter. All those places where I'm inserting pull-offs and hammer-ons, if I were to just alternate pick all of that, it would sound a little bit too tight. You don't want that. You want that nice smooth tone. Cool. Now let's check out lick number five. Lick four and five go together. It goes like this. So what am I doing there? I'm basically just running up my pentatonic scale, but instead of just the notes from a pentatonic, I'm gonna insert the nine 
on the A string, and I think I'll also have it on the B string. Yeah, and I'm also gonna have it on the B string as well. And then we're gonna end with a bend on the 16th fret of the B. Now, it's crucial to get this lick right to start that with an upstroke instead of a down. If you're used to playing your two notes per string um, kind of runs down the neck with the down, then maybe stick to that. But the way I do it, and I found, and I've only started doing this about a year or two ago, I found that every time I do two notes per string runs down the guitar. If I start that with an upstroke, it makes everything a lot smoother. Oops. Cool. Now let's check out lick number six. All right, lick number six. We're gonna start with the double stop here. And we're gonna be going from our fourth shape of the pentatonic scale, sliding into the third shape. And we're gonna move all the way down to the sixth fret position. Or we're gonna be end the whole thing with a D major chord. And that's the end of the lick. All right, so let's see what I'm doing here. Let me play the lick for you one time. Cool, one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna start here by holding my first and second finger on the 13th and the 14th fret of the G and the B string. And I'm gonna hammer on to the 15th fret of the G string. And then I'm gonna pull off. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna hit the 15th fret of the D string with my third finger, but I'm gonna slide back real quick into the 13th fret so I can get this cool sound out of it. It'll sound like this. Just like that. Okay? Then I go to the 11th fret, and I'm gonna do a hammer on, and I'm gonna pull off all the way back to the 11th. So I start on the 13th fret, hammer on to the 14th, pull off, pull off. I'm just gonna continue that all the way to the 11th fret on the A. All together, slow. As soon as I hit that, I'm gonna end the whole thing with just barring my sixth fret on the D, G, and B string. Give it a little bit of a vibrato, and that's just outlining my D major bar chord. So all together. Cool, and that's all there is to it. Let's put everything together from the first lick up until the last lick. One, two, three, four. Alright, that's all there is to it. Just little six licks all put together to make up that one little solo. I want you guys to make sure that you're practicing this slow, practice each lick on its own, then put it all together. Practice it with the backing track, practice it along with the solo. And the most important thing here is to make sure you got the dynamics right, the timing right, and make sure the feel sounds good as well. You don't want to play too sloppy. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and comment below and let me know what you guys think. If you have trouble with anything, any of the licks, let me know. And I'll be happy to clarify some things out for you in the comments. And uh, like always, make sure you go check out my Facebook, my Instagram, Twitter. And if you want even more lessons, check out my website, royzivmusic.com and jamtrackcentral.com. I'll see you guys in the next clip.